Hello. In this short video, I want to look at the ability to set Chocolatey GUI configuration outside of the main user interface within Chocolatey GUI. If I go up here and I run Chocolatey GUI, then for a for the currently logged in user, then I can go th into the settings screen and I can click on enable or disable certain features. And that's, that's great from a uh, per user uh, standpoint, I can choose to enable or disable features, uh, that's great. If I want to do that at the command line though, I can make use of what's known as the Chocolate GUI CLI command. So what I can do here, there's a number of different things that can be done, uh, feature, config, and purge. Uh, this video is going to focus on the feature element, uh, but I can then run feature list, and that will show me the current settings uh, for the currently logged in user. Now, if I go up here and I say, well, actually, I want to disable that feature that was the uh, show console output, then I absolutely can run this command. If I type it properly, I'll get there. Uh, so I'm going to run, I'm now disabled that show console output. So if I go back and look at Chocolate GUI, what we'll see is that that feature that we had enabled through the user interface is now back to being disabled. So both the user interface and the CLI, they're working on the same piece of, pieces of information. So if I go back, uh, just to labor the point a little bit, and I go back and I want to enable that feature, then it's back on again, and that's great. However, as an administrator of a machine, I want, may want to set those uh, settings up so that every user of the machine can take advantage of it. So to illustrate that, if I sign out of the machine as the administrator that I currently am, and I come up and I look at the uh, non-administrator user that I have available, then in here, if I run PowerShell here, and I run Chocolate GUI here, then we'll see that for this user, that show console output setting, which I can't see because by default, the, um, the setting screen and access to settings isn't available to non-administrators on the machine. But if I click on the Chocolate license, then this show console output isn't expanded. So it's not currently set for all users of the machine. Now I might want to make it set for all users of the machine. So what I can do is if I go back and I sign out again as the non-administrator user and go back in as the administrator, then if we open up PowerShell here and I run the command that is chocolatey GUI CLI feature enable name show console output, and I'm going to say dash dash global. So at this point, that's going to set that setting at the machine level. So that means that for all users of the machine who are running Chocolatey GUI, that feature is now going to be enabled. So we can see that in action if I go back. So I'm now going to log back out again as the administrator user, and I'm going to log back in as the non-administrator user. And let's go back to Chocolate GUI. So Chocolate GUI is here. So before, when I switched to the uh, one of the, the remote sources, we didn't see the expanded show console output. But this time around, if I click on this, now this is expanded because that show console output setting uh, is has been enabled and it's enabled for all users on the machine. Now, the important one that might be useful to uh, some folks, depending on their setup. If I come up here and I sign out again, I'm just going to, not entirely sure what that error was, but let's, let's move on. It's not important to, I'm assuming that's just something within my environment. If I log back in as the administrator, then one of the features, let's do chocolate GUI CLI feature list. What we'll see is that one of the, uh, default settings, which is allow non-admin access to settings, and that's false. Now we've changed that in 0.18.0 of Chocolatey GUI, but basically what that says is, if you're not an administrator user, you don't have access to the settings. So I, if I need to, I can change that at the uh, machine level. So let's do Chocolatey GUI CLI feature enable dash dash name equals allow access. Now that's only going to change it for my local user, which 
doesn't really matter because my user is an administrator. But if I run that command again with dash dash, that's the wrong command, apologies. Let's run it with dash dash global. What that's going to do is that's going to enable it at the machine level. So once more, let's go and sign out of the administrator account and sign back in as the non-administrator user. So this time around, I will be able to look at Chocolatey GUI and I'll be able to look at the settings screen because I've now enabled that feature. I'm not an admin on the box, but I now can get into the settings screen in order to configure my settings. Now, now that you've enabled that, even though the show console output was enabled at the machine level, I, as a logged in user, can say, well, actually, I don't want that. So the uh, effective configuration settings are the combination of the global settings and the user specific settings that they've chosen. So if they've chosen to specifically override it, then the global setting no longer has any effect. So that's something to keep in mind. If you are gonna allow users to in, uh, control settings of Chocolatey GUI, then your global machine settings may be overridden by their local choices. So because I've disabled that for my user, that's now not expanding where it would for all the other machine, machine users that haven't chosen to override it. So hopefully all of this makes sense. Uh, the machine level configuration is uh, definitely fully intended for uh, folks that are rolling out Chocolatey GUI uh, to uh, lots of people, uh, lots of machines, and they want to be able to control at the machine level what those configuration settings are. So thank you very much. I hope this has been useful.